Chao Feng Dong comes from a long line of herb farmers. He says traditional Chinese medicine crops are more profitable than growing wheat or other staples common to Anhui province. Chinese herb prices have risen so quickly partly because of hoarding, but it's also because of demand. Supply is scarce, so if 10 tons of an herb is needed, but we can only provide 8 or 9 tons, then the price of this herb rises. China's top price regulator, the NBRC, says prices of some herbs had soared as much as 10 times over the past two years. The government in July stepped in, ordering herb speculators to quickly sell their stocks. The government's wholesale herbal medicine price index immediately fell. We should see prices of Chinese herbs head lower. Take ginseng. Prices have already started to fall, partly because of government controls, but many enterprises and individuals have also increased the amount of ginseng they're growing. So supply has increased. Not everyone on the ground, though, agrees. The government measures won't have any effect. Let's say I have a lot of stock. I have one million yuan worth of herbs. If you want me to sell it at a loss of 300,000 yuan, I definitely won't sell it. Bojo calls itself the traditional Chinese medicine capital of the world. Every morning, the central market teams with farmers, traders, TCM practitioners and consumers, and a lot of funky critters. Not all traditional Chinese medicine prices have gone up, and not all traditional Chinese medicines are herbs. Take a look at these, what appear to be dried cockroaches. Prices have remained flat over the years. There is simply too much supply. That's not the case for cordyceps, a fungus that grows off the carcass of the caterpillar it kills. It's said to be good for battling stress and cancer. Prices have skyrocketed, traders say, because of out-of-town speculators. Coal mine owners buy it. Black devils. They have money with nowhere to throw it, so they hoard. Black devils from Shanxi province. And those who deal in real estate, they don't know what's good or bad as long as the price is high and they can make a profit. <laughs> if they buy my herbs at 10 yuan and sell it for 20, that makes my heart hurt. It makes me think we should keep it at home instead of selling it. Herb harvesters here are used to bending not only to the forces of nature, but to market forces as well. Mm -hmm. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg, Bojo, Anhui Province, China.